Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new episode of Review. Today, we're taking a look at the Squid Industries Mako V4. So, let's get started. So, the Squid Industries Mako V4 comes in this nice actually not not this one uh this box right here and it comes with the standard goodies of every squid industries knife which is a card a sticker and the knife itself inside a nice little sheath which my cat seems to like a lot now unlike most of the other knives that i've tried before especially the big grails my cat actually seems to like this one specifically a lot more i think this may be due to the fact that the blue looks like a fish but we'll never really know Now, I know there's probably some people out there right now during this video that have one question. And those people probably sound exactly like this. We figured it out, bro. We know it bends. It's aluminum. Bends. It bends. It does it. We all know. We all know if we take it and we just, just bend it a little bit, it will break, bro. We all know that Will lied. What he said was fake. Fake news. He's fake. Get yourself a boat and try and break it in the propellers. Do it. So in Will's video, he merely just applied pressure through his hands. He tried to bend it with his hands. So that's what I did. I did this a few different ways with both handles and guess what? Nothing, nothing happened. They are aluminum. Yes, aluminum is a lot softer than titanium or steel, but they're still metal handles. They will not just snap like a twig under the pressure of your hands. Not too sure why people think that Will is saying BS when it's metal. All right, let's go ahead and get started off with some specifications. And one of the things I want to talk about is the weight. This weighs 4.25 ounces, which for aluminum knife is heavy. It's also running off of aluminum handles and 304 stainless steel for the blade and standard washer system, which is pretty basic for a knife at this price point. And to my surprise, the tolerances are a lot better than I expected. Squid Industries is known for making their washers systems really good. So it wasn't that hard to, you know, expect something like that, but it's great. Also, one thing I love about the specifications of their website is they actually provide the balance profile on their website. So it's in their interpretation of what the weight feels like but in my opinion this interpretation is quite accurate i was very surprised that the way i felt it was also apparently the same way they felt it too so fun little thing that they have on their website that not many other websites do so i think that's definitely something that a lot of makers should provide as well The flipping experience from the Mako is surprisingly nice. I think this knife is a great staple in the collection, especially if you're looking for a trainer under or just at $100. Even if you're a beginner or experienced flipper, this is a great addition to a collection. The people over at Squid Industries really do care about the experience you have with their knives, and this just goes to show that they really do care and put time and thought into the knives they make. This is a great knife to have, and I'm very happy I got to try it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. More reviews down the line soon. Anyways, peace out.